it's hunter here and i'm going to be ranking every headhunter dlc pack in borderlands 2. at number five we have hammerlock versus the son of cromerax this dlc was essentially the follow-up from borderlands 1 cromerax the invincible and the boss is basically a replica however with a different name and a few different types of hitboxes the one thing i hate most about this dlc though is that you have to pay 20 iridium just to be able to fight cromerax your second time the first time was free because it was part of the story And even after you've beaten Cromorax a second time, he doesn't give you great loot. And, like his name says, the Invincible, he is extremely annoying and hard to kill, especially on your first attempt. So overall, this DLC is not worth it because just to get to your boss, it takes 20 Iridium and to fight him is really hard. Coming in at number 5 is Mad Moxie and the Wedding Day Massacre. Love is in the air. Oh, that's, uh, that's probably not an omen or anything. In this DLC, Moxie is planning to reunite these two lovely weds together and they're from two different clans. I personally enjoyed this DLC and I feel like a lot of, a lot of other people did too. And with the ending boss being two mobs and a bunch of enemies, I thought it was kind of different compared to all the other ones. And the loot drop may not have been as great, which is why it's number four. And there has been, on the upper part of the list, better loot drops. So that's mainly the reason why it's so far down on the list. However, it is still a very good and decent DLC. Coming in at number 3 on the list is the horrible hunger of the ravenous Waddle Gobbler. So this is obviously a Thanksgiving themed DLC and I really did enjoy it. It could have been a bit better because it was very tedious to me and the objectives you had to do and the cooking part might have been annoying to some people not me personally because the enemies would continuously turn on and off the oven whenever you're trying to cook and that might be annoying anyway during this boss fight it was actually really fun because there was a lot of mobs attacking the invincible uh, turkey <laughs> and you wouldn't really be fighting a turkey with guns on Thanksgiving so I just thought that was really unique and the loot pool could be better but everyone loves Thanksgiving Coming in at number 2 on the list is J.K. Baja's Bloody Harvest. So this DLC is obviously a Halloween DLC and it is very fun and colorful and there's a lot of new things that were added. So, there's these candies that each have special abilities, some can make you faster, some can make you stronger. And there were two bosses, one, this gun that I'm using here, was actually dropped by the first boss that gives you the hammer. And that's why I'm putting it high on the list, because it has a great loot pool that was a legendary weapon, didn't even try to get it, and I just all in all love Halloween, so I love this DLC. Coming in at number one is quite obviously Marcus's Mercenary Day. So this is a Christmas themed DLC headhunter and Marcus basically saves 
all the townspeople in Georgetown. And this is a boss that's being fought, and it is such a good boss. It's pretty easy to kill, but kind of hard at the same time if you don't have the right things. And there is a way to cheese it. Anyway, the boss doesn't drop the greatest loot, which might be bad. However, after you kill the boss, you can go back into the town, and there will be a, a train, which we'll show here in a second that will give you all your loot and it's this boss fight is actually really really good for beginner players starter players and like starting your actual story so this is really good for iridium farms money farms weapon farms xp farms uh he this snowman he's actually really good for xp farms so if you haven't tried it out go ahead I don't know why you wouldn't cuz it's just really good here's the train that gives you all your loot and you will be satisfied so I hope you enjoyed my list and all of you have a hobby happy whatever it is when you're watching this